Oh, Beth, you have no sound. Hey, Ron, can you hear me? Hey, Ron. Ron, can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you. It's a little bit broken up. Can anybody else hear? Yeah, you're good. You're good now. Okay, so was the whole thing all on silent? Yeah, pretty much so, up until now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, all right. So, um, super crazy. Our my computer totally did a huge update, so it's trying to log in. So we we emergency went to my cell phone. So I'm not sure exactly what happened, but we'd like to welcome you all to Wild Wednesday Live. Um, I'm ho I'm hoping you guys all could read lips so that you know exactly what I said for the last three minutes. Um, but as soon as my, my computer is still crazy. So we're gonna wing this from my phone. Um, but we have um, a couple of dates. I want you guys to get your pens and pencils and write these dates down. Because like you know, when we do it from the um, show floor, um, in Tucson, Raylene will be going live November not, uh, November 10th, 11th, and 12th, I believe with Adele. Um, and Wednesday's behind the scenes, Thursday and Friday is from the show floor where she gets in depth with, with several vendors. And then Puyallup, Washington is going to be November 17th, 18th, and 19th. So um, make sure you mark your calendars for those. And then I'm just going to jump right in. We have several... Um, several fabulous vendors today and they're all going to be showing you quick easy fun gift ideas for the holidays so ron you want to just bring linda um, from cruise and quilts right in she has fun holiday gift ideas and she has a 20 percent off um uh coupon although you don't need a code so don't worry about a code you can just go right to her website and order whatever you want and for a lot of you if you um if you are tech challenged like apparently I am, you can always give the shops a phone call and they're happy to help you out. All right, um, Linda, I'm just going to turn it right over to you and you can show us what you've got. Sounds good. Sounds good. It sounds like I am just as crazy as everybody else. And because I'm just as crazy as everybody else, we're offering a special free shipping for our Wild Wednesday. So if you put wild free when you order, you're going to grab free shipping on um, everything we sh show today plus or, or your whole order. So everything I showed plus a whole bunch of more stuff is going to be under our Wild Wednesday live uh, little image that we have on our website you just go shop and then click on that wild wednesday it's going to show you everything we have and everything that i don't show you will be up there too that's kind of gifty ideas we love a homemade christmas here at cruise and quilt designs we've been doing that for over 40 years making all our gifts for our friends and family so i want to show you some quick and easy um, gift ideas. But the first thing I want to do is I'm going to give you a quick demo on a stitch and flip project, um, which is a June Taylor uh, sewing machine cover. And Caddy 
but it's what I actually happen to have cut out. If you want to grab that too, um, that's going to be on sale for 20% off. And like we said, there is no code you need. So this is from June Taylor. This is the stitch and flip sewing machine cover and caddy. And it's a quilt as you go project. Now you notice in this um, kit, you're, you're only going to get the pre-printed batting. You are not going to get um, any fabric. So you get to choose your own fabrics. And I've already cut my pre-printed batting out on the lines that I want to use for my um, sewing machine based on the size of my machine. And I have my background or my backing fabric um, already there. And you'll notice that these are all numbered one, two, three, four. So while this is very similar to paper piecing, it is different than paper piecing in a way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our fabric one that we want to put there and we're going to line it up. Now you notice that these don't cover that line. The line is not a stitching line. It is a line that you're going to line your fabric on. So there's our fabric one. Our fabric two, which is this one, is going to go up here. We're going to put it right sides together with our fabric one, and then we're going to sew a quarter inch. We're not worried about stitching on the line. The line is our fabric placement. After we've stitched, we're going to flip it and press it over. And then we're just going to keep going, stitching and flipping, counting all of our numbers going from one through however far it goes. So that is our center part on this. Now we have another piece that we're going to add over here. So we finished all of this. Now we need a long piece to go over here. And when we do that, we're just going to line this up on that pre-printed line that's right here. And sew a quarter inch away from the edge of the fabric. And then stitch it over, flip it over after we've sewn and press it down. Then you follow the instructions and bind it. And so super easy. This is the sewing uh, quilt as you go sewing machine cover and caddy. So you get a sewing machine cover and a little caddy to put in front of your um, deal. Like I said, I'm a little disorganized, hence why we are giving you free shipping. So all of the June Taylor items that we have in the store are on sale. We love this triple play. Now, this would make a great hostess gift. In this, you're going to get three different items. You're going to get two different bags, a, a crossover bag and an over-the-shoulder bag and a water bottle. I like this to put my spray bottle in when I'm going to retreats. So this would this one kit will make these three different items. You're going to get the pre-printed um, interfacing on this, the instructions, and a June Taylor glue stick on this one. Here you have three gifts in one pack, or if you have that special friend, you want to give them the whole thing, you could um, make them all up for th with that. Our next June Taylor one project is the Handy Towel Caddy. Now, I'm really liking this. This is a super cute hostess gift. And I was going to start making it last night. Um, but I realized the patterning called to pre-wash our stitch and flip fabric and the towel. You do get a towel with this. And I didn't have any laundry to do, so I didn't pre-wash it. But this is the fabric I'm going to use for this. And again, it's just a stitch and flip. Um, right on there, and this kit makes this cowl, towel, cowl, it's a tongue twister, and um, so you have all that right there. Now you do supply your own fabrics. So I'm trying to get this so it doesn't glare. 
So that is another one. For all of our pet loving friends, we have our June Taylor Stitch and Flip Pet Placemats. Now we have one that is a fish for our kitty lovers. Here we have it done up. So again, the same process, the stitch and flip, you're going to get the pre-printed batting in the kit. And then we also have a one that makes up this cute dog bone. And we have used some very cute Lorelei fabrics in this. So when you are stitching and flipping, you're actually quilting along the way. So all of these are going to be 20% off. And our last June Taylor product is the Zippity Doo Done Zippered Cosmetic Bags. Now they call these cosmetic bags. I personally use these for my uh, sewing projects and for my supplies when I go travel and I need a little sewing something. This would make up super cute in kids fabrics. What I like about this is so many of my students do not know how to put a zipper in or they're super afraid of putting a zipper in. Well, with the zippity do done zipper, you are going to get a zipper that is sandwiched already between some uh, bias binding. So all you have, you don't even have to have a zipper foot on your machine to insert this. You just do your stitch and flip, put your zipper over the fabric and stitch right on top. And that could be a decorative zipper or it could be, or a decorative stitch or just a straight stitch. We've done a double straight stitch along here on both of these. Now in this package, you're going to get enough batting to make two bags, a small and a large and two zippers. So a large zipper and a small zipper. And the packages have different colored zippers. We have it in red, black, white, gray, a whole variety of colors. So that is what we have for June Taylor and the stitch and flip. My other next favorite project is this Nantucket bag that comes from Moda. So this uses a charm pack, a mini charm pack, the little two and a half inch charms and some fabric. And with that, you can make two little zip bags. And these go together so cute um, and so easy. Cute zipper on the top. So one project will make, one kit will make two little bags and one charm pack, one mini charm pack of 42 pieces. Our next quick and easy thing that we like to do here, it comes from the Whole Country Caboodle, and this is our um, mug rugs. Now we don't wanna put a coffee cup on these, so we do have little hangers that you can hang these. This is for Halloween, um, our little uh, pumpkin guide. Each kit comes pre-fused, laser cut with everything you need to make one project. And you can do this. I made this in a hotel room while I was at a Quick Craft Sew Festival show vending. So you can do this. It's super easy. Everything's pre-cut, laser fused. Here is a little reindeer one that we're working on. I have to put his eyes on and do some binding. Here we have a fun uh, pilgrim lady. So we have all of these. Here is here is the reindeer guy. Here's a, another little reindeer. Um, here's a witch. We've got them all. I just brought a few to show you. Oh, and somebody asked to see the sewing machine cover in Caddy. So this is what it looks like. So here's the sewing machine cover. And here's the little caddy that goes in the front. Obviously, you're going to put your own fabrics in there. Um, what you're going to get is the pre-printed batting, the instructions, and then the uh, webbing for the handle part that goes on the top. So, like I said, 
everything that we showed you today is going to be under our Wild Wednesday um, image on our website. And it's all 20% off. You do not need a code. But because I'm so disorganized and I want to give you something, um, a little Christmas, early Christmas gift. If you type in wild free, when you get ready to check out, it's going to give you free shipping. Now, we never offer free shipping um, here at the store. So this is special just for our Wild Wednesday group. So the sewing machine caddy, um, the small is 16 by 7 by 12. The medium size is 18 by 8 by 12. And the so the biggest machine it'll fit is 20 by 9 by 12. So 20 this way. So if you have one of those great big huge machines with them, you know, those new kind that are humongous, this won't fit it. It's more for um, your a smaller machine. So 20 inches is the width with nine inches deep and 12 and a half inches tall um, for the largest on the sewing machine caddy. And that's all I have, Beth. Hello, Beth. Back to you, Beth. She's not there. Okay, well, I'll just keep talking. <laughs> Okay, here I am. We're all discombobulated. I, but you know what? It's really exciting. Well, I can't say this. It it's exciting, but it's good for me to know because I'm like giving myself such a hard time about being so discombobulated. So it's good to know I'm not alone. Yeah. We're we're all here together, trying to hold it together. I. It's kind of crazy. I feel like we have to work ten times harder for ever. Ten times harder than we used to have to work. It's a crazy time. It's a very crazy time, but the ladies loved it. One lady did ask, and I'm just going to say for those of you who are watching, if you can kind of keep the questions till the end, because we will bring Linda and all of the vendors back um, at the end, and you can ask their questions now. But I did have one gal that wanted to know um, how to order. Does she just go to your website? Just go to our website. Up at the top, it says shop. Click on that shop where the little link that says shop. And then right at the top, you'll see first one is Facebook live sale. The next one is wild Wednesday and it's got the wild Wednesday logo. If you click on that, it's going to show you everything we showed plus some more stuff. I just keep throwing gift things in there and putting them for 20% off. Um, so in, you can shop right from there from our website and you can call us. Perfect. And they are loving the free shipping. Nobody yes. gives free shipping in today's times, especially since, um, did you get the notice that the post office just went up for holiday? Uh, I, it's beyond me. It's beyond I me. did. I did. And so this is a special just for our Wild Wednesday watchers because um, we don't do free shipping. Um, also, I want to let everybody know we will be in Puyallup and we will be there doing our make and take. I'll be lecturing up there um, at the Puyallup show. Right. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys the dates again. Puyallup is going to be November 17th, 18th, and 19th. So mark your calendars right now. Even if you can't go, you can still watch the lives and, um, and then call the vendors with anything you see there that you might want. All right, Linda, we'll bring you back in a, in a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I think we've kind of got ourselves back together. Um, you know, technology is crazy. Um, but um, I just want to let you guys know that our next in studio um, will be hosted by Raylene, November 2nd. Um, and then I think the next one is going to be in December because we have so many shows going on and Thanksgiving and just it's a crazy time of year right now. So make sure you stay tuned. Join our YouTube channel, join Wild Wednesday um, Facebook page so that you get um, notifications anytime Raylene posts anything that's going on. Um, Tucson show in no November 10th through the 12th. Um, well, I can tell you, Kelly, Raylene's going to be there. Um, thank you, Evelyn. Okay. So we're just going to jump right into the next vendor, um, who is Patty from Patty Cakes. And I think it's kind of crazy being a shop owner. Um, but she is opening up a real live shop. So we're going to, um, get her to give us all the details for that. So are you there, Patty? Um, Let's see. Hi. You're there. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Good. So, 
Welcome to our new shop. I opened a shop October 1st. And so this is some of the, uh, the fabrics and things that we, that we have. And we're in Bullhead City, Arizona, next to Laughlin, which is the uh, uh, a gambling area, kind of like Las Vegas, but much smaller. So that's where we're located out in Arizona. So, Perfect. so if anybody needs a getaway, they can come visit you. Yes, we have. Um, <laughs> you can always contact me. I'm always getting free hotel nights at the uh, at the different hotels. So, you know, uh, become my best friend and maybe I can get you a free hotel night or two. So, wow. <laughs> yeah. And do you, are you going to be offering classes? Are you going to what are you going to be doing in your shop? Yes. Yeah, so today what we're doing is we're doing a tea party. And so the tea party is we're doing the uh, Bare Roots towels. And this is one of them here. This is the Christmas design. And so we're, we're in, in our classroom in the back. Well, while I'm doing this, we're doing a class on the embroidery project. And then I'll be serving tea and we're having pie today. So How fun. It's, it's the third Wednesday of every month. We'll have a different project. And it's called Patty Cakes Tea Party. And Super fun. So it's really fun. And we're just getting that off the ground. And this is our first project. And then next month we'll be doing an apron. So it's all tea related or, um, uh, you know, tea party related in right. honor of the queen who, so that's what we're doing high tea today in honor of the Queen Elizabeth. So. Perfect. So anybody who wants to grab their friends, they could call you and maybe set up a special um, event where you could teach them how to do those things. Yes. Yeah, so or we're lots of other things too. This month. And then also, and then the next time the apron will be a sewing project. So they'll bring their sewing machines. So that's. Um, Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I'm going to let you take it away and, and, and tell Thank us what you've got. Thank you. Okay. So today I have some little projects that are great for Christmas gifts. We're going to start with It Takes Two. And this takes two fat quarters. And I've made three of the projects in the book. The book has six projects total. And this is my favorite. It's a little bag that has a ruffled top. And it come, And then I've made up little kits that have the zipper and the fabric. This is one of our best selling fabrics, really cute bee fabric by Susie B. She's a stationary designer if you're not familiar with her. Well, this is a really cute bag that's in the pattern book. And then the second project is a little trick or treat bag. And we use fabric that glows in the dark. So if they, if the, um, if you lined this with the same glow in the dark fabric, then when they open their little trick or treat bag, it glows in the dark. So this is a cute little uh, ditty bag. You can move it from either side and uh, then, of course, you can use it as little uh, treat bags or ditty bags of, with other designs uh, all year long. The third item that I made up from this book, this could go over your chair. And it's a little holder for your, um, it's a fairly small project. It takes two fat quarters, um, the main design and a contrast, which I use the polka dots. And it um, can fit over your the the your uh, chair that you sit in that you like to hand sew or you can use it if you have a small sewing machine you can put it down in front like this put your sewing machine and you have all your tools right there handy it makes a nice quick gift also for make and takes if you're part of a guild this would be a really cute book and there's six projects in the book to um to give as christmas gifts or as you know if you're part of a group that you exchange gifts it'd be really really fun for that too. The next project that I have is, let me make sure I get the right pattern <laughs> with the right, well, where did it go? Hmm. Okay, technical difficulty. The next one is the Sweet Jane's Boxy Bag. And this is the, this is one of the smaller size. The pattern makes up three different sizes. And you, this was made with mini charms, which are the two and a half by two and a half inch charm packs. And this is a really cute charm 
um, you can also cut your five inch charm packs down, of course, into two and a half and make this cute little bag. And then we, we lined it with coordinating fabric. So one of the neat things that we sell at the shop and online is zipper by the yard. And this is by Pam DeMauer, the decorating diva. So you, in these bags, you get three yards of zipper tape and you get eight zipper pulls. So you just cut off the amount that you need and it'll stay, you know, it's easy to put the zippers on. People always ask me that. How do, we, do these, are the zippers pretty easy to feed onto this? And these are great. This is a great product. She's a sewer designer and I have all of these on the back wall in all different colors there and they're available on the website on my Etsy shop. We have them in orange and black and silver. We also have a lot of decorator colors with fancy um, zippers for your tote bags if you're making a tote bag. And that way you just cut off the amount you need and then you have it left over for the next time. So you're not having to run down to the shop to grab a zipper. You, you know, if you have a stock in different colors, they're ready, readily available for your projects. So that's a cute project. The next one we have in this same cute mode of fabric. This is a Sweetwater print and it's called uh, Screen Print. And we currently have these uh, charm packs, five and a half inch charm packs on sale for $6.95 in our Etsy shop. And it's a really cute line. It's red, black and, and gray and taupe. And then this is the pattern. The, this is the Daphne pouches. So you can make them as a set to give them as a gift. They're really cute. Uh, you need one fat quarter for the lining and 25 and a half inch by five and a half inch squares. I mean, five by five squares, or you need 42 and a half by two and a half to make the bag. And the, the pattern's available in our shop and that really cute charm pack for $7.95 from Moda. I think it's $7.95. And then you also would receive your discount for today, which is uh, w our code is WW15 for 15% off today on anything in the shop. And we, we, I know you were talking about free shipping earlier. We do offer free shipping at $60. So that's our level of free shipping. So if your order comes up to $60, you, you get your free shipping plus your 15% off today. So it's a great deal. Stock up. So then I want to show you we have some really, we have this new fabric line that just came in. It's called Brielle. And what we do is we package our fat quarters. This is eight. And this makes a really nice other, uh, they're coordinating fabrics. It's called Brielle by QT Fabrics. We have a lot of these packs in our shop on our website. And this is a great one. This can be for a, a beautiful uh, baby shower gift or a wedding gift, a lot of, People have, you know, neutrals in their house. This is a new line for us because normally we carry a lot of brights and lime green and light, lots of bright colors. So it's a little different for us to carry this fabric line. And this is the main fabric here. It's gorgeous. So we really like this. It's soft, It's but it's very contemporary in that it goes with so many different home decors. So that's a cute one. This is a new an another fabric line that we have where we package them. This is a 10 fat quarter pack and it's $29.95. So that's only $2.95 a fat quarter. That's a great deal. And then you would also receive your 15% off in our shop today. So that would be cute for your little bag projects. And I know that the previous uh, um person also I, I don't know her personally so I can't remember her name I'm sorry but I know she showed you some really cute projects today too we also have Sesame Street these are cute so in these packs they're $18.95 and then you receive two Sesame Street fat quarters and then the coordinating colors that go with those and we have them boy boy or girl or they're really either or they're really cute Sesame Street this is one of our best sellers which is our speckles these are bright colors they're great for sashing and borders and and just a great blender and there's there's um six fat quarters for 18.95 in this pack great pack 
Um, I have people pick these up all the time just to keep them in their stash so they have that available. So also have some really cute gift items for the holidays coming up. This is the tape measure mug. It has your, your tape measure on the side and it's a cute mug. These are $8.95. Very good. A good little gift there. So let's see. What else can I show you today? I think um, I'm going to pan around a little bit. Um, maybe I can hold the tripod. We carry practically the entire line of Lorelei fabrics. We carry all her novelties and all the basics. We love her bright patterns. We we're known for our novelties. I would say that's probably our, our number one, our number one thing. We, we've also gotten some beautiful botanical fabrics in that are going to be listed on the website quickly. We are also doing frosty that, uh, is a block of the month applique program where it's all pre-fused. It's a block of the month. So you start with, of course, with block one and everything comes in the pack, ready to go, pre-fuse. You just iron it down on your fabric and you can get th that project done absolutely before Christmas this year with it being pre-done for you. So I just want to thank everyone for watching today and I'll pan around a little bit more so you can see the, the fabrics that we carry and have. I hope I'm not doing this too fast. We also have some cute Halloween diamond painting kits left. We have Halloween fabrics. This is our B fabric here that we just are in love with. And these are all the zippers that we carry. Can you see that? Okay. Uh, pan around a little bit more Christmas fabrics. We carry the steampunk Halloween, steampunk Christmas lines, more Lorelei cat and dog fabric. Come over here. We like lime green, as you can see. Black and whites. We have a nice selection of black and whites. So welcome to the shop and thank you for tuning in today. Back to the studio. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, it looks like a lot of fun. So if you girls are in the area or if you need to make a girl's trip, a girl's weekend, I'm pretty sure Patty can accommodate you. Lots of fun things she can teach you. Um, and zippers are sometimes hard to find. So that's kind of nice to know that you can get it by the yard. You, and if, if you don't, if you're not so computer savvy, like I'm not, you can call Patty and she'll just um, hook you up. So, um, so think of your questions for Patty. We'll ask them um, at the very end. So we'll bring you back on in a little bit, Patty. Okay, thanks, The shop Beth. looks great. Okay. Thank All you right. so much. Hey, take All care. Right. Yeah, so I want you guys to write, because you probably didn't write it before when I told you to write it. Um, write down that the Tucson show is November 10th, 11th, and 12th. Remember that on Wednesday, Raylene is going to do a behind the... the scenes tour of the show so you can see who's there who you want to make sure you don't miss all that good stuff and then um puyallup is going to be november 17th 18th and 19th and we're also going to do a behind the scenes tour on wednesday so that gives you a good idea of the vendors that are actually there um and our next in studio is november 2nd and um that's kind of i think all of the um really important stuff we need to tell you. I know you guys are going to start putting in that you want the code word, but you don't get it yet because I want to um, have Suzanne from Calico Cupboards come on first. Then we'll give you the code word. So um, Suzanne, are you are you ready? Let's see. There, there you are. You're always ready. All right. So welcome. Um, I'm just going to just let you go because you know exactly what to do. Okay. Today I'm going to share with you some new things we've gotten in, some quick and easy projects. And I'm going to demonstrate a couple of those quick, easy projects for you. So first I'd like to start off with some of the new things we've gotten in. This is a new apron panel. It's called uh, Happiness Homemade. And um, it's $12.75 for the panel, which includes the front of the apron as well as the pocket. 
And then I added a yard of fabric to the back uh, to, to make it lined. The um, straps also come. And it's, so it's quick and easy to do. Happiness is homemade. And then for all of those of you who have seen this before, this is the sewing machine cover and it came in yellow and turquoise and I still have some of those, but they've reprinted it. So now it's red and yellow and you can see there, nice thing about this is, whoops, wrong way. Um, you can also make a tote bag with it if you don't wanna make a sewing machine cover because it is limited to certain size sewing machine covers, but those are available. and and new, I'm happy to say. And then this is another new panel we got. So this makes a quick and easy table runner or placemats and it's called uh, After Five. And then it has a coordinating fabrics that go with it. Now, for those of you who missed Bambi because it came and went so fast, they've reprinted it. So if you need a quick baby quilt, for those newborns coming your way. This is Bambi, and I'm happy to say it's back in, and there's a coordinating fabric that goes with that. And then, if you've seen Mickey Mouse and Fantasia, here he is looking over the valley, and this is, of course, a, a coordinated event with uh, Thomas Kincaid and Disney. So this is new. We've had several others in the past. If you see what shows were ordered, but that's new. So now, you know, there's only a couple weeks, maybe less than a couple weeks till Halloween. But this is the project for Halloween. This is um, a, a panel that's available, and there's six different motifs on this panel. And this is one. This glows in the dark. This is a 12 inch panel. It goes on one of these hangers. You can hang it on the door. And then here's another quick and easy project for you. This is made out of glow-in-the-dark fabric, and this is a table runner. If you made it smaller, you could use it as a placemat. So what you do is you measure your table, then you cut enough fabric for your table. And I've added two borders. As you can see, there's a narrow border, one and a half inch, and then a two and a half inch border for the outside. And as I said, it glows in the dark. So that's easy. You don't even need a pattern for this. You can customize it to fit your table. And then here's another fall panel. These are new. I take, get it so you can see better. These are five inch squares and they're all on the same panel. This happens to be kind of a fallish um, sunflower, but it's it's friendship. So they each panel has a, a friendship saying on it. And in a little bit, I'm going to show you what you can do with that. Then also for fall, here's another table runner. This is made from two fabrics. Takes a third of a yard for the inside, but you see the that happened to be a striped fabric. And then two thirds of a yard makes the borders and the backing. And it's a they call it a 10 minute table runner. It took me about 20 minutes, but when you order fabric for the 10 minute table runner, we will provide you with a free pattern. And I'll show you another one, Christmas fabric. So that's a 10 minute table runner. And another fall design. This is the triangle frenzy table runner that you've used the 60 inch triangle with and it goes pretty quick. So that's a nice fallish table runner. Now I told you I was gonna show you what to do with that five inch, those five inch squares that are all on the same panel. Here's the one that's snowmen. Now, now this is for Christmas of course. And what you do is cut them apart and then with half square triangles or maybe a square of another fabric, you can make this small table runner, I'm sorry, placemat or wall hanging. And then for those of you who missed out on our Christmas, night before Christmas book that I only had a few left, we've gotten a few more in. As you remember, this is kind of an old fashioned looking design on the inside. So this is really good for those kiddos for Christmas, the night before Christmas. And then here's another small wall hanging. This is from the postcard holiday panel, Jolly Santa. And, and again, you could add borders to this and make it a placemat or make it the centerpiece of your table runner. So lots of quick ideas. 
Here's another 12 inch wall hanging. This is from Winter Welcome. And this panel has six different motifs. So you have a lot of choices. You can either make a small quilt or you could make placemats or you could make that small wall hanging. Lots of ideas with this panel. And here's another 12 inch um, wall hanging from Santa's Big Night. And here's a new one we just got in. This one I've already cut apart, getting ready <clears throat> to make one of those 12 inch table runners or 12 inch wall hangings. And this is what the panel looks like. Again, there's six different motifs. We have a lot of choices. And I like the colors this year. They're doing a lot with the black and red plaid. And so there's six different designs on this panel. Now, many of you have seen this before, but I'm showing it to you again because they're not so expensive. So if you haven't had an opportunity to pick up the Very Merry Christmas Advent Calendar panel, you might want to do it because when they're gone, they're going to be gone. And this one, has that little bear down in the corner. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> Always backwards. And the little bear moves from room to room throughout the days before Christmas. So that's very Merry Christmas Advent calendar. Now this is another one of those 10 minute table runners that's made from the postcard holiday coordinates for that Santa that I showed you. And again, you have a third of the yard of the motifs for the center and then two thirds of a yard that makes the back and the borders. And then we added a two inch button on the end and cut out, used one of the motifs from the, the patches in the center. Now that's all the new things I had to show you and some of the panels. But, um, I'd like to also now show you some quick and easy projects that you can do. I don't know if any of you may have seen this before. These are pumpkins made with fabric. And the nice thing about this project is, I don't know about you, but I'm running out of room to store a lot of my seasonal decorations. So the nice thing about this one is if you choose to, you can take it apart and use the things again for next year. These are made from a roll of toilet paper, believe it or not. So you take your toilet paper and undo a little bit and then roll it back on the roll because you want to make it nice and fluffy. As you can see, these have a little bit of dimension to them. There's the bigger one. And you make a smaller one by cutting the toilet, empty toilet paper roll in half and then roll some toilet paper. You can also use batting around it. Now what you do once you get your toilet paper roll all, all ready to wrap is lay it in the middle of a, an 18 inch square and pull the fabric up. You can see, so you pull the fabric up over the toilet paper roll, poke it down in. Now, if you wanna keep this just as it is and use it again next year, I would go ahead and glue this down. This is a cinnamon stick that goes in the middle. And if you wanted to use it, I would also glue that down. And then you can either use silk leaves like this or we have a lot of oak trees where I live and I just took some leaves off the tree. And I like this because I'm gonna take these apart. I'm gonna use the toilet paper throughout the year. I'll press my fabric and put it away. Now I'm not storing three or six pumpkins. I'm just sewing, storing some pieces of fabric and, and the cinnamon sticks. The leaves will go away, but the silk leaves I'll keep. And again, remember you can make the smaller one just use a half of, of a toilet paper roll. And remember, you can use batting if you don't want to wrap it with the toilet paper. And the next thing I'm going to show you is how to make some quick and easy wreaths. I do this for every season. And the first one I'm going to show you is made on a straw wreath. And this is the straw wreath that you get. And then the pattern includes the, the shape for the leaves. You're gonna put right sides together and then batting on top. 
and stitch around the drawn design, turn it right side out, and then stitch, stitch down with the veins with, of the wreaths. And then you can either pin or glue the leaves all around your wreath. So that's the styrofoam. I mean, sorry, the, that wreath. Now, we have a pattern for holiday um, wreaths on our website. And I've made one for each season to show you and to explain how to make them. So this is the Valentine wreath. Now you can see that it's actually three different things. So it's the main fabric for the body of the wreath, then a small amount of fabric for the accent. And then if you'd like to add it, there's um, eyelet here. And you can either use gathered eyelet or flat eyelet, depending on which one you like. You can change the width, you can change the color. I like to use white or off-white because it kind of accents the fabric that I've chosen. This one happens to be on a wire form. And the, um, what you want to remember about the wire form is when you cut it so that you can slide the tube over, I'll explain that to you in just a minute, you want to wrap it with batting so it has some softness and some, and some body, and then wrap uh, plastic wrap over the top of the batting because you're going to need to slide the tube a fabric over that and it's not going to slide very well over batting itself but once you put the plastic wrap on it it will slide much more smoothly one and this one is made on a styrofoam wreath you can also use wire but this one happens to be styrofoam and i'm going to demonstrate in just a minute how you do that so again we have the fabric tube and then the eyelet and then you can decorate with with whatever motifs you have I happen to have a cookie cutter that's shaped like a bunny. So I cut that out of two layers of fabric and put some felt in between so it has a little bit of body. And then you can put a pretty ribbon on it if you'd like, but that's the Easter one. And then here's Halloween. Now this is a bigger wreath. The one I just showed you with the Easter was 12 inches. This is 14. And this one is made out of that, um, glow in the dark fabric that I showed you just recent, just before. So it, it will go in the dark. So we have that, that main fabric, and then we have the accent, and then the eyelet. And then I cut out some of those motifs from that fabric that I showed you with the table runner and put some felt behind it and then place them, I always get this backwards, <laughs> place them around the wreath. So here's some ghosts here and a skeleton. And then the the um, spider spider web. Sorry. So that's the Halloween wreath. And then I like to make big fluffy bows on top. They don't glow in the dark, but the fabric on the wreath does. This is the Christmas wreath. And again, it's just a tube of fabric with the accent and the eyelet, and then a nice bow. And I'm going to add later some holly and some berries around my wreath. I have a little demo for you. You're going to start with two eight inch strips of fabric. This is smaller than eight inches, but this will get you to see how you do it. So it's eight inches wide and the, it's two eight inch times the width of the fabric. So it ends up being about 84 inches by the time you get the length. And then on top of, of the right side, on one edge, you're going to stitch your eyelet. And then you're going to take a two inch strip of fabric. Again, it needs to be 84 inches long, two inches wide, fold it in half, wrong sides together. Then take your right sides and the raw edges get stitched to the top of, on top of the eyelet, which is on top of the right side of the fabric. Once you stitch that all along that 84 inches, you're going to take the other edge of your eight inch strip and put it together. Now you have right sides together and you're gonna stitch along this edge, 84 inches. So it looks like this, you have a tube, you're gonna turn it right side out and it's really not hard to turn. It's easy enough to get your hand in there. And if you have a pair of tweezers or some forceps, um, you can get it turned out. I didn't even use that to turn this. So you can see, here's my tube, it's right sides together in half. Here's my accent, the red one right here, and then the eyelet. And then you're gonna take your styrofoam wreath 
and you can see I've cut mine just slice it so that you can slip the fabric on now most of the styrofoam wreaths that I've seen recently have a kind of a slick finish so the fabric slides very easily so then you take your tube the hardest part is getting started Once you get it through that, on that edge, like I said, the hardest part is getting started. Because the edges are kind of close together when you cut them. And then you, all you do is pull this tube onto your wreath. all the way around and once you get it all the way around then you pull it up so that the open edges of the wreath can come together now i'm gonna one is i'm not finishing this but you would squeeze your pull the fabric up so that you see where the split is push it together and tape it you can glue it if you'd like the tape actually works and it, and it stays together i use the blue tape or you can use um any tape you might have. And then, of course, you, it's nicely um, gathered. Then you decorate it. And I have some uh, 4th of July trim that I'm gonna wrap around it and a pretty bow that I'm gonna use. And then some decorations that I'm gonna put around the outside edge. So here's, uh, ideas for quick wreaths. You can give these as gift. It makes a nice hostess gift if you're going for Christmas or Thanksgiving. And I just looked at the calendar and I realized there's 36 days till Thanksgiving and 67 days till Christmas. You can still get a lot of these projects done in that short time because they are quick and easy. And I thank you all for tuning in today. I'd like to thank again Raylene and Ron and Beth for all their technical wizardry and help and for Ruthie. I give you all my blessings for this wonderful holiday season. I know we've had a couple of really challenging years, but we're happy to share this time with our family and friends. Thank you all who come to the booth and tell us how much you like Wild Wednesday. We do appreciate you tuning in and shopping with us. Thanks everyone, happy holidays. Perfect. Thank you so much. And we'll call you back in just a second. Okay. I just want to um, give you guys um, real quick the code word because I know you're all waiting for it, but you know, I'm a stickler. So I wanted to make sure you stay tuned in for all of the vendors. Sherry, it's so good to see you. Um, but so um, I just want to reiterate to you guys how lucky you are that um, the vendors are going above and beyond and giving you not only 20% off for several of them, 20% um, off, 15% um, off. That's huge. Um, and then free shipping on top of that. That's kind of crazy and unheard of. Um, but we, um, so make sure that you support the vendors so that they'll keep coming on and doing these um, interviews and entertaining us on Wednesday afternoons. So I'm going to remind you, just because I know I have to remind you, um, that we have the Tucson show November 10th, 11th, and 12th. So if you're anywhere in that area or if you need a girls weekend, um, plan it around the show so you can support the shows. We want to just, I and I know I'm kind of like a broken record. You want to support the vendors and you want to support the shows so that we we can continue to have shows and continue to have um, vendors and continue to have shops and all that good stuff. Um, and then Puyallup, Washington is going to be November 17th, 18th, and 19th. Mark your calendars. The next in-studio show is going to be November 2nd. And um, and all of the shows now until Christmas are, are going to be geared more to quick and easy projects that you guys can make or maybe not make, but just purchase and get wrapped up for um, gift giving. Um, okay, so I'm going to pull everybody back on. You know the code word. It's Halloween. Halloween. So type that in real quick. And if you have any questions, um, let us know what your questions are. Make sure you only enter the drawing once. If you enter the drawing, be sure you claim it to win it. Um, don't be putting in Halloween unless you are going to come back and check and see if you won. Because um, a lot of times, uh, uh, Corey Lean is trying to track you guys down. So, um, so make sure that you um, 
type in Halloween, but that you come back to the Facebook Wild Wednesday Live page and see if you're a winner. Um, and Raylene will have that posted tomorrow. Okay, so do you girls have any questions for any of the vendors at this point? They were all pretty thorough, so I'm not sure that there's too many questions. Um, okay, so I'll ask a few questions just because they're busy entering in Halloween because, you know, we as quilters, sometimes we have one track minds. So we got to make sure that we get, get that Halloween typed in so we can be entered into the drawings. Um, do any of you girls have anything you want to say or you want to add or you forgot to say? Um, this is your time, Linda, Patty, and um, Suzanne. Is there anything else you'd like to add before they get any um, questions in? They're just typing in great vendors, learn so much. Um, they loved it, honestly. They love to be entertained on a Wednesday afternoon. I did talk to the post office because I also had a concern about them raising the rates for this time of the year. Yes. And what they told me was the money is going toward hiring staff to meet the holiday requirement. They're, they're expecting a lot of um, package mailing this year, a lot of gift giving. And so they want to make sure they have enough people to be efficient and get your, your gifts where you want them to go. So. That sounds like a great answer. I wish they would work like that all year long. Uh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay. And um, Suzanne, can you just tell us your website one more time? Somebody didn't catch it. Sure. It's the calico cupboard store.com. And we are offering our discount this, this time is 25% off. I'm sorry, 20% off a $25 purchase. Um, and so. Perfect. The calico okay. cupboard store.com. Okay. Sounds good. And then, um, Patty Cakes, your mic is, turn your mic on, but um, Kathleen wants to know, um, can she find you on Etsy? Yes, my Etsy shop is Patty Cakes with an S, Fabric. So if you type in Patty Cakes Fabric, you'll come right up to it. It's an Etsy shop. Etsy has this fabulous guarantee during the holidays that any order $250 and below is um, automatically insured. So, you know, if anything happens, Etsy's going to take care of, care of it for us. So if they lose the package, damage the package, anything up to $250 is insured, which is above and beyond the hundred dollars that the post office offers and you don't have to deal with the post office. So it's great that we have this and we're, um, you know, we're really excited to do that. They have a lot of things going to help out the vendors and the customers. So it's Patty Cakes Fabric, 15% off. Our code is is uh, WILD1515. So Dottie, the, um, Patty's info is scrolling on the bottom of the screen right now. Um, write that down real quick. I know it's a lot to write down. Um, but you can always Google the vendors and find their information, call them if you have any questions, or if you saw them demo something and you can't find it on their website, just give them a call because a lot of us are super busy and we might not have gotten everything onto the website that we're showing and we might have grabbed a tool to demo ease, make the demo easier and we didn't have that online or you can't find it. Just give us a call. We're all happy to help you. We all want to, honestly, we all want to make that sale. So whichever way you can do it, whether you go to our websites, our Etsy pages, um, call us on the phone, you know, we try to make it easy, but sometimes you just have to give us a call. And all the websites are listed on Wild Wednesday's website also. Um, so if you're not at home or you can't write it down, you can go to the Wild Wednesday, Wild Wednesday website and get all of their links. And that will just take you right to their, their shopping. Okay, Perfect. and um, Linda says she saw the 60 millimeter blade saver on Patty's Etsy shop. It's a great tool. Well, that's always to, good to have good endorsements from the customers. Oh yes, we have the 60 millimeter is right on the wall. So Perfect. Perfect. Okay, any other questions for the ladies? I think your demos were pretty self-explanatory. So I think that the ladies are all running to their computer so they can place those orders and get them in the mail. Hey, All perfect. right. Thank you thank so you much. Guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you for um, joining us. Uh, oh, pleasure. wait, wait, wait. Um, so 
Uh, Linda, do you have any suggestions with flip and stitch to um, help with fabric? Yeah. So the best thing to do is if you want fabric suggestions is to give us a call at the store. Perfect. What's your phone number real quick in case they don't want to look it up? 541-808-9972. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Thank you, especially to the vendors for for putting the effort because I know it's not easy to get the demos and get everything lined up and then to come on live. So thank you, especially to you. And thank you to all of you who, who tuned in and watched us today. Have a great week. Go get some sewing done and join us in Tucson or Puyallup. Bye. 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 Okay. You need it.